As promised, I said I was going to do a Baggy and Carmilla print, and I had a concept, and you guys have been seeing a few shorts here and there working on it, um, but I thought, you know what, why not do a full-on video, uh, do time-lapse working on it. If you guys are curious, uh, this is actually, originally this video was a part one of two, but I decided to change things up and make it a one and done video, and if you're curious why the first video was unlisted, or basically other, it probably is private, that is why. Um, also, this has been something I've talked about in a few streams here and there, um, I've wanted to tackle a print of Carmilla and Vaggy for kinda a while. Uh, just trying to find the time to work on it has been really, <laughs> it's been difficult. And I was struggling a bit for the concept. Uh, I knew with the song, you know, out, you know, for love, I, I wanted to have something that kind of really focuses on that, but I didn't want it to be like something as dynamic as like something kind of like basic the way you know the fighting stuff a lot of fan art uh for this fight was just you know this fighting that's it nothing really too dynamic and i kind of didn't want it to be a fighting fan art i kind of want it to be a little bit more dynamic more pose based more realistic so i went with something a little bit different uh after struggling a bit to find some references <laughs> which I went through the Google page, uh, which would be seen on screen. For quite a while, uh, I was really struggling for a bit. And um, I finally nailed something I really liked. Um, so what I did is I roughly, with uh, Vaggy, it was just a dy dynamic on the ground holding a spear type pose. And for Carmilla, it was more acrobatic, more you know, leaping out of the way, more of a ballerina type pose. From and it was really difficult um, to nail down what I wanted. I did accidentally lose my copy <laughs> of the original drawing, so I had to re you know keep it and you know fix it. Um, and I, what I went with was a double hearts, because originally it was going to be one heart going upward and one heart going down, and it just wasn't working for me. So what I went with was more of like a double heart, uh, one on top of another, so like an hourglass, uh, to show a cool dichotomy with the two characters, and I really liked it. Uh, so. I was originally going to, with uh, the black heart for Carmilla's, I was originally going to have like white spirals, but it just wasn't working for me, so uh, I just decided, you know what, let's try something a little bit more, you know, <laughs> that actually works. So I eventually, kind of after struggling a bit with Vaggy um, and trying to fix the heart, uh, for a bit, it it started to really come together. Um, I was originally going to have like uh, in the um, I was going to originally have loot show be shown off somewhere on it, but it just wasn't working. Like no matter what I was trying, it just wasn't you know working. So I I I just kind of changed things up a little bit. Um, and kept it kind of simple. Uh, I tweaked some things here and there with the print, uh, mainly keeping like you know I had to look and at photo reference for like what outfit Vaggy was wearing uh, in the scene to make sure I was getting stuff right. Um, and the shading did take me a little while <laughs> to figure out. Um, I was struggling a bit. Um, so I kind of just roughly tweaked a lot of the different stuff, um, and all that. Um, I will say Carmilla's, like, 
feet and like boots really gave me a lot of trouble. <laughs> um, uh, it was really difficult. Um, but I roughly started to get the hang of it because uh, I because I really wanted to try like a more playing card approach, more of like you know to show a dichotomy between the two characters. Uh, and I really thought that would be a unique angle to really go down um, with the heart and you know Vaggies being you know red. I struggled a bit with the background, but I thought a rough lightish blue purple really worked. Um, and I thought for Vaggie's heart, the light uh, pinkish uh, yellow started to really work. Um, because I thought, you know, that's the same color as like the eye blood that, um, she had. And I thought putting the wings in the middle would show off the angel dichotomy for somewhat both characters, um, with the halo and front and center. Um, I was originally going to have the overshadow of loot somewhere, but it just wasn't working. So I just said heck with it. Um... And, you know, just said, you know what, heck with that. Um, and pretty much scrapped that. But I did keep the wings in the print. Uh, cheated it a bit for some regards. <laughs> um, when it comes to, you know, duplicating some things that weren't working. And, or trying to get certain things there. Uh, I did add some rough lighting um, to add, like, a holy effect. Uh, and then a added both Carmilla's kids at the top um, and Charlie at the bottom. So here's the finished work. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. All that jazz. And bye bye